Greetings family, peace and love to you and yours. This is Guru and thanks for visiting my channel. Family, this video is titled The Inevitability of Impeachment. Well, Trump has only been in office for one week. And after one week, there's been a strong tide that is trying to push for the impeachment of Trump. Trump has been trying to govern by impulse on whim for personal retribution, for profit, by decree, as if he had been elected dictator. It doesn't work, and the wheels are coming off the bus after a week. Impeachment is gaining ground because it is the only way to get him out, and because Republicans are already deserting this president in droves, and because the man is psychiatrically incapable of checking whether something is legal before he does it. Impeachment is gaining ground because it's so horribly clear that Trump is unfit for office. The grown-ups around Trump, even the most slavishly loyal ones, spend half their time trying to rein him in. But it can't be done. They spend half, the other half, fielding frantic calls from Republican chieftains, business elites, and foreign leaders Trump did what? Poor Rents Priebus has finally attained the pinnacle of power and it can't be fun. It's one thing to live in your own reality when you are a candidate and it's just words. You can fool enough of the people enough of the time, maybe even to get elected. But when you try to govern that way, there is a reality to reality and reality pushes back. One by one, Trump has decreed impulsive orders, unvetted by legal, policy, or political staff, much less by serious planning. Almost immediately, he is forced to walk them back by a combination of political and legal pressure, and by reality. Unlike in the various dictatorships Trump admires, the complex scheme of con constitutional legal and political checks on tyranny in the United States are holding, just barely at times, but they are holding. And the more reckless Trump's behavior, the stronger become the checks. Only with his lunatic effort to selectively ban refugees, but not from terrorists sending countries like Saudi Arabia and Egypt, where Trump has business interests, has Trump discovered that the American system has courts. It has courts. Imagine that. The more unhinged he becomes, the less will conservative judges be the toadies to ordinary Republican policies that they too often have been. Anybody want to wager that the Supreme Court will be Trump's whore? In the past week, Republicans from Mitch McConnell on down have tripped over each other rejecting his view of Putin. Of Putin. <laughs> Putin. <laughs> they have ridiculed his screwball claim of massive voter fraud. They are running for cover on how to kill Obamacare without killing patients or Republican re-election hopes. This is actually complicated and nuance is not Trump's strong suit. Rep. Tom McClinton of California spoke for many when he warned, quote, We'd better be sure that we're prepared to live with the market we've created with repeal, said Rep. Tom McClintock. McClintock. Quote, That's going to be called Trump Care. Republicans will own that lock, stock, and barrel and will be judged in the election less than two years away, unquote. And he is correct. Senator Lindsey Graham, mocking Trump's own nutty tweeting habits, sent out a tweet calling a trade war with Mexico, quote, quote, mucho sad. Trump's own senior staff has had to pull him back from his ludicrous crusade against Mexico and Mexicans, where Trump forces the Mexican president to cancel an official visit one day and spends an hour on the phone kissing up the next day. 
Trump supporters, this is your president. Trump proposed to reinstate torture, but key Republican leaders killed that idea. Senator John Thune of Sandy, um, South Dakota, the Senate's third-ranking Republican, said Wednesday that the ban on torture was settled law and the Republicans in Congress would oppose any reinstatement. Trump's own defense secretary holds the same view. After blustering out his new torture policy, Trump meekly agreed to de defer to his defense advisors. All this in just a week, now capped by federal judges starting to rein him in. Two weeks ago, in this space, just based on what we witnessed during the transition, I wrote a piece calling for a citizen's impeachment panel as a Shadow House Judiciary Committee to assemble a dossier for a Trump impeach impeachment and a citizen's campaign to create a public impeachment movement. In the two weeks since then, Free Speech for People has launched a citizen's campaign to impeach Trump about 400,000 people have already signed the impeachment petition. The bipartisan group Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, acronym CREW CREW, has been conducting a detailed investigation. Senior legal scholars associated with CREW have filed a detained legal brief in their lawsuit, documenting the several ways Trump is in violation of the emoluments clause which prohibits a president from profiting from the actions of foreign governments. There are already plenty of other grounds for impeachment including Trump's putting his own business interests ahead of the country's and his weird and opportun opportunistic alliance with Vladimir Putin bordering on treason. A lesser known law that goes beyond the emoluments uh, emoluments clause is the Stock Act of 2012, which explicitly prohibits the president and other officials from profiting from non-public knowledge. Impeachment, of course, is a political as well as a legal process. The founders designed it that way deliberately, but after just a week in office, not only has Trump been deserting the Constitution, his, his partisan allies are deserting him. Despite his creepy weirdness, Republicans at first thought they could use Trump for Republican ends. But from his embrace of Putin to his sponsorship of a general trade war, this is no Republican. One can only imagine the alarm and horror being expressed by Republicans privately. In 1984, the psychiatrist Otto Kernberg described sickness known as malignant narcissism. Unlike ordinary narcissism, malignant narcissism was a severe pathology. It was characterized by an absence of conscience, a psychological grandiosity and quest for power, and a sadistic joy in cruelty. Given the sheer danger to the Republic as well as to the Republicans, Trump's impeachment will happen. The only question is how grave a catastrophe America faces first. That is the question and the concern. Family, that's the extent of this video. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate your time watching. If you have a comment, please leave one. Until the next video, peace and love to you and yours. And don't forget to love yourself. I'm out.